Yeah, thanks so much for that. It's a family <laughs> show, after all. Now, the experience of war has always given artists a unique and powerful perspective. Well, now one soldier from uh, North Yorkshire is giving people the chance to see his own paintings showing life on the front line. Richard Salter joined the army at 16 and served in Afghanistan. His exhibition opened in York today. Michelle Lyons has been taking a look. It's a far cry from frontline duties, but Richard Salter's used to working under pressure and his skills as a soldier serve him well as he prepares for his first art exhibition in York. He's bared his soul on canvas and now he's ready to share his work. Art is such a creative thing, but it's always been there um, when there's been wars. You know, I think it was uh, originally used for a historic point of view prior to photographs. But with me, it's more of my sort of personal experiences. Richard was given the chance to study fine art at Buckinghamshire University, and after graduating, he packed his palette and paintbrushes and took them on tour to Afghanistan. I once left my kit in the kitchen and I heard my daughter shout, ready for battle, and she had all my gear on the helmet. And um, So from there I grabbed my camera, had a great photo shoot, and that's what we have here. We thought it would be an ideal opportunity to do something with the artist. Um, and with it being in York, we've got a lot of interest in the work, because obviously we've got the barracks in Strensel and Fulford, and we've approached people and there seems to be a great deal of interest with his work, so we're quite optimistic it'll, it'll do well for us. I think Richie's work is very surprising. I've seen some of his work before in Afghanistan and uh, it was a little bit different from this, a lot smaller. And I've come here tonight and been very pleasantly surprised. Richard has five years left to serve in the army. After that, he's planning to leave the battlefields behind him and take up the more peaceful role of full-time artist. Michelle Lyons, BBC Look North, York. Let's move on to sport now. And Sheffield's Shelley Rudman finished third in the final